Hey, it's Brian again. Let's talk about biceps and triceps workout from home. What you can do in your own home gym without buying a bunch of equipment, without spending a bunch of money. This isn't a tr This is going to be a workout for uh, the softies. All right. This is going to be the. This is going to be the bodybuilding, uh, muscle building style workout because that's really. Uh, you know, we don't have any Nautilus machines in the home gym, right? It's all free weights. So that's what we're going to talk about. Really, all you're going to need is a couple of things. You're going to need an easy curl bar. That's what an easy curl bar looks like right there, right? You're going to need some iron weights to go on that easy curl bar. Uh, I've got a pair of uh, 25s, a pair of 10s, a pair of 5s. You can choose whatever variations that you want, but I highly recommend getting at least, you know, 25s, 10s, and 5s, and maybe a couple of sets of the 10s and a couple of sets of the 5s so that you can mix and match the weights to get the resistance that you want. The easy curl bar itself weighs about 25 pounds. If you can't curl 25 pounds, they do make straight bar curls, or excuse me, straight curl bars that uh, are 10 pounds, okay? Um, but you're gonna need some kind of curl bar. I like the easy curl bar. In addition, you're gonna need some dumbbells. This is all I keep right here for my arm workouts. Now, I've got a heavier set that I use for chest and shoulders, but for the arm workouts, this is all I've got now. I got a pair of 25s, I got a pair of 50s, and I'm telling you, it's all you need. If you've got an easy curl bar, and if you've got a couple of sets of, of decent dumbbells, it's all you need to get a great arm workout from home. You can work out both triceps and biceps. Now, I'm gonna give you now uh, four sets of biceps, or four exercises for biceps, and five exercises for triceps, that if you do these, you're gonna get a great pump, get a great, get a great workout at home. Four biceps now, using the easy curl bar, simply, barbell bicep curls, right? Both arms start at the bottom, curl up to the top, on your way back down, right? Easy day. Then go to alternating dumbbell curls. Alternating dumbbell curls is where you go right arm, then left arm, right arm, then left arm. You like do, you know, one on the right, one on the left, two on the right, two on the left, back and forth until you get to, you know, 12 on each side or whatever the case is, you know, 10 to, sets of 10 to 12 reps, okay? Then I like to go to hammer curls. Hammer curls are essentially the same as alternating bicep curls with the exception that you don't rotate the wrist flat on the way up. You keep your, your fist vertical so that you're involving more of the forearm into the movement as well as the bicep. And then lastly, you can do reverse grip barbell curls. Those are the same as the curls we did with the easy curl bar, only this time you're gonna reverse the grip. So instead of gripping like this, you're gonna grip like this. That's also gonna help involve the forearms, right? You want to have Popeye-like forearms. Trust me, it's a beautiful thing. I wish I had them. I work hard on them. One of these days, I guess I'll get there. <laughs> okay. For triceps now, begin with a big compound movement like seated dips. Let me show you where I do my seated dips. This is actually a lot of fun. I do them out here in my courtyard, and I do them right between these two planters. I put my feet over here, I put my hands over here, and I do my seated dips right here between these two planters. You can find a spot to do the same thing. I used to do them right over here. I used to do them uh, with my arms on the arms of the chair and put my feet up on the fire pit. You can do seated dips just about anywhere. It makes them so great. You get two chairs from the kitchen table. Start knocking them out. Get your seated dips done. Then I move on to what I call brain busters. Now, brain, most people know what brain busters are, right? You're laying on the floor, you're using the uh, easy curl bar in my case, right? Or whatever bar you're using for curls, this thing right here. Lay, lay on the floor, flat on your back, arms straight up in front, and you lower the weight down, you touch your forehead, and you push it right back up with your triceps, okay? Do 10 to 12 reps per set for that guy, about four sets of those. Then you can do kickbacks. That's where you simply take the weight, you bend over at the waist, and you're gonna kick the weight straight back like this, okay? And then you can do overheads. You can either do single arm overhead, presses like this, or you can do dual arm overhead presses with a heavier weight where you use both arms to hold the dumbbell above your head and you press up like that. That's four exercises for buys, five exercises for tries. I promise you can get a great arm workout, you can get a great pump, you can build your guns, you can do it from home, you don't need a bunch of weights, you don't need a bunch of money, and for goodness sakes, you don't need a gym membership. You just need about 30 or 45 minutes and a little bit of discipline. I love working out from home because I work from home, right? And if you can work from home, you can work out from home. That means I can work out any time of the day I want. Uh, I, I can, I can, you know, I work in my office as well as play and work out in my office. If you'd like some more information about maybe how you can get home, get some more time working out, work for yourself, click on the link. It'll take you to workingwithbrian.com. I'll show you exactly what I did in 2013 to set myself free, get some more time in the gym, get some more time at home with my family. Have a great workout, guys.